Hey everyone, my name is Chelsea. Welcome to Little Mountain Ranch. I'm really happy to have you here with us today. Although today we are obviously not at Little Mountain Ranch. We're actually sitting outside of Costco getting ready to go in and do a Costco shop. We have been doing many more Costco shops recently than we normally do. Normally we go to Costco every six months, but we have been traveling out of our town more frequently. And whenever we have an opportunity to go to a Costco, we generally take it because we don't have a Costco in the town where we live. The nearest Costco is actually around three and a half hours away from where we live. So today we had the opportunity, so we decided to take it. And this is the first time we have ever been at Costco right when it opens. So I'm really hopeful it's not gonna be as crazy busy as it usually is. I know a lot of the products that are available at Costco in North America are kind of available in all Costco's, but I thought it might be interesting to see what is available specifically here in British Columbia, Canada. Also, all of the prices that we're sharing with you today are in Canadian dollars, and I think our dollar's running around 74 cents to the American dollar right now. So we're just gonna wait for the doors to open up and then head in there and do some shopping. We are going to try to get through here as fast as possible because we're actually on our way to pick up uh, a milk cow right now. I have a story to share with you about um, what happened with our milk cow fireweed, but I'll save that for another video. But we have to actually be there by around 11, so we're gonna have to fly through here pretty quick. Okay, so we have organic olive oil here. For, stored in glass. Stored in glass <laughs> for $22. So that's actually a pretty good deal. So we're gonna buy, should we do three of these? Yeah. Let's get four of them. Price. Yeah, that is a really good price. It is, and it's extra virgin. Lee, let's grab some mushrooms for sure. This is one of the treats that we always buy the kids when we go to Costco. We use almost an entire case <laughs> when we have lunch, but they love it. I love Better Than Bullion, but it's usually really expensive. And today it's $8.99, which is $2.50 off. Okay, so $17.99 for pure vanilla extract. So we're gonna grab two of those. This is the brand of yeast that I buy for all my bread making. And then I just store this in the freezer. This is not a bad price for organic sugar. So we'll buy two of those. aren't coffee drinkers, but we like to keep some coffee on hand for guests. And this is Salt Spring, so this is actually local to BC, $18.99, and this is organic coffee. Okay, so we were just talking about butter, and because we're on our way to pick up a milk cow, we are going to actually be in milk starting tomorrow, which is really exciting, but we decided to buy a case of butter because um, normally I can't put up enough to last us all the way through the winter. And the butter was, how many dollars cheaper was it a block here? It was around $2 cheaper a block here. So to buy a case, we actually saved $80. So it was definitely worth it. And butter freezes really well. It freezes for up to six months. So I'm gonna go for some whole wheat wraps here. These ones are pretty decent. I don't know if you guys are experiencing this, but pet food here is really expensive. So that's just for, it's a good size bag of cat food, but still, oh my goodness. So normally we use the Whiskas cat food, but Kirkland tends to be a pretty decent brand and it is significantly less expensive. So we'll give this a try. 18 bucks for... It's a pretty good deal. Eight, 18 of them. Perfect. Buck a piece. Sounds good. Not too shabby. Okay, we're now done shopping at Costco. The van is full. Um, Dan's mom actually has the kids, so we were able to come and do this little bit of a trip on our own, which almost never happens. So that's been kind of nice. Um, we're heading now to go and pick up our cow, our new dairy cow, and I'll fill you in all about all of that in the next video. But once we get home, I will spread all this stuff out and show you everything that we got. And then we will also probably do a stock up of the pantry itself so that you can see the pantry if you have not seen it before. So we'll see you when we get home. Bye. 
All right, we are now back home. We have all of our food spread out here. We did get the cows safely installed down in the barn and I did a video about that on Tuesday, which I will link for you down in the show notes and up here if you would like to check that out. So now we are going to go through all of the groceries that we bought at Costco and my family was kind enough to help me label everything with the prices so that I can share the prices with you as we go. And then at the end of the video, I'll share with you the total cost. Before we get into that though, I just wanted to quickly share with you a little bit of an update on our vintage cookbooks. So over the last, I don't know, probably two months or so, I have been sharing recipes out of some beautiful vintage cookbooks that my husband purchased for me for our anniversary. And Donna, one of my amazing subscribers, sent me some new ones to play around with. So in our next video, we're going to do some recipes out of these amazing cookbooks. These ones are from the 1930s. This one here is my favorite. This is such a keepsake. So the cover itself is from a really old cookbook, we think from the late uh, 1800s, early 1900s. But the inside of it is chock full of handwritten recipes and newspaper clippings from the oldest one I found in here was 1923, I think. A lot of the things don't have dates on them, but some of the newspapers are so fragile whoa, that they're starting to crumble. It is incredible. So I'm really excited to cook some of the recipes out of this cookbook and all of these cookbooks as well. This is another favorite of mine. Look at the cover of that cookbook. Isn't that beautiful? I have also heard back from the woman that Dan purchased the art of cooking and serving from who we believe was owned by a woman named Betty. And I have a little bit more information to share with you about her as well, but we'll save that for the next video. In this video, let's get into all of this food here. Okay, we're gonna start over here. We have some pineapple chunks. This is for pizza making, $13.50. And I am really curious to see how these prices are, which are in Canadian dollars compare to the prices of groceries in your area. Our groceries do tend to be a little bit more expensive because we're in the north and the further north you go, the more expensive groceries get because of all the shipping. We have some sliced mushrooms, $17. Two bags of organic frozen corn, $13. Some mixed veggies, $11.50 and then two bags of frozen peas, and these were $16 each. I also bought a bag of three berry blend just because I really love this. I heat it up and use maple syrup and sweeten it with maple syrup and then put it on plain yogurt, and I love it. But I don't buy them very often because they are $20 a bag. We did buy two bags of organic sugar, $13.50 each, two vanilla, extract $18 each. I'm always shocked at the price of vanilla extract. This is actually, I think it's $3 more than it was the last time we went to Costco. Some Advil, $26. This is something I was pretty happy with as far as the price. This was $7.99. I think it was $2.50 off for better than bullion. I do make all of my own soup stock, um, chicken stock and beef stock, but sometimes the flavor is not super strong. So I'll add a tablespoon of this if I'm making soup or stew or something. Some Frank's hot sauce for the kids of mine that like things spicy. Do we have a price on this? Yes, we do. $10 for two bottles of that. Ketchup chips are something that I really love. As you can tell, I have already broken into the bag. $8.50. I think ketchup chips might be a Canadian thing, but if you do have um, them elsewhere, definitely give them a try. They are delicious. They've been my favorite since I was a kid. We bought some coffee beans and because we don't drink coffee, it works better for us to buy coffee beans. We can throw these in the freezer and they stay fresh for a really long time. That was $20 for um, organic coffee beans. How much was this um, for 907 grams? Salt and vinegar chips, some munchies and some Chicago mix. These are all for when we do family movie night. Tortillas are actually really easy to make, but because of the amount that we consume in one meal, it is time consuming and I always find I smoke out my kitchen. So I always buy wraps. These have 24 tortillas 
per package and we bought two of them for $9.50. I also bought two swimsuits for my two youngest daughters and these were $14 each. And I also bought a spring coat for my youngest daughter. I always find that the quality of clothing at Costco is actually really good. I have a jacket that I bought there, I think six years ago, that's still in perfect condition. And then it also came with some mock pants, which is perfect for this time of year. This was $30. Just a few packs of um, loaves of bread. I do do most of my own bread baking, but this is backups for days that I don't want to and the kids want sandwiches. $8.50 for three loaves. We've already taken a loaf out of this one. We also bought two packages of cinnamon raisin bread. Already have eaten one entire um, bulk package of them. They were $7 each, which is actually a pretty decent price for raisin bread. Like I mentioned in Costco, my kids love Annie's mac and cheese. We have already eaten all of the white cheddar ones. $20 for a pack of 12. Dan bought these. These are sparkling ice water, $21 for a good size case. These are my favorite crackers. I show them every time I do a Costco haul video because I love them so much. There are a lot of crackers in this box. So $11.50 seems like a lot for crackers, but there are two 450 gram bags in here. We always buy a couple of boxes of granola bars. These are just easy things to throw into snack bags when we're going to be in the car for a while. So $13 and $14 for these ones. These are pretty much like a chocolate bar. Always buy lots of garbage bags, two boxes of these ones. These ones we use in the house. And these ones are, let's see here, industrial drum liners. And these are for our big garbage cans down in the shop. $13.50 for a 36 pack of seasoned roasted seaweed. These are really yummy. Three big bags, three bulk size bags of organic tortilla chips. And one of these bags will do us for nachos. So I bought three of those and they were Dan's gonna grab the price off the receipt for these cause I don't have it written down. This was a really good deal. $18 for 18 light bulbs, so a dollar a light bulb. And every time we go to Costco, I buy these garlic stuffed olives because they are delicious and I love them. Some craisins, we bought two bags of craisins, $14 each. The olive oil was $23.99 for two jars that are one liter each of organic olive oil. That's actually a really good price for us. So we bought four of those. And then the avocado oil, we bought this one for making mayonnaise, $17.99 per bottle. We also bought coconut oil. This amount of coconut oil is probably going to do us for at least six months, if not longer. We don't use a ton of coconut oil, $21.99. And if you store this in a cool, dark place, it will last for a really long time. $14.99 for our maple syrup. Good price for us. Okay, we have Pacific Salmon Burgers, $26. Always expensive, salmon is an expensive thing. $18.50 for naan bread, which is very expensive, especially because naan is so easy to make, but there are, let me see, 12 naans in this. And we have some bacon. Dan's eating a lot of bacon right now, and we only have a little bit left of our homegrown bacon, but I am going to be doing some butchering in the next probably two weeks. So we'll be able to stock up our bacon and again. We go through a lot of bacon around here. $16 for a three pack of bacon. And we are now in dairy, which is very exciting. So I won't be buying cream cheese anymore, but cream cheese does freeze really well. So we have two packages of Kirkland cream cheese, which is pretty good, $9.50 each. This is actually really nice butter. So we bought a case which has 40 pounds of butter in it. They were $4.49 a pound. So it was 100 and 
$80 or so for the case. We're also going to be in butter very soon here, but I can never make enough butter for our family. So having a case of butter that freezes really well, butter does freeze for a long time, is an awesome thing to have as a backup. These crispy sweet potato fries, I'm really excited about because I love sweet potato fries so much. I haven't tried them yet. So if you've tried them, let me know what you think. But we bought three bags of these for $12.50 a bag. This is a two pound block of active dry yeast, $7.99. I just keep store my yeast in the freezer and it lasts for a long time. And I think that is it for the food. Okay, this I'm very excited about. This is a gigantic wok. My other wok has bit the dust. This one is a carbon steel wok and it's made without you know, some of the nasty stuff that can be in nonstick um, bakeware. It's the Tramontina brand and this is a good brand. I have used butcher knives from this company before and they have done well for us. So I'm excited about that. Also bought some new measuring spoons and measuring cups. All together, these were $25.99. Super sturdy, good quality ones. And one of the things I liked about this one is it had a one and a half cup measure and I'm always doing things in large batches. So that is fantastic. This is the last thing that we bought that I'm quite excited about. So this is a drawer organizer and there are three, four junk drawers, which I think is just fantastic. But this one is so awesome. It is expandable. Isn't that fabulous? So you can have it smaller if you need it to be or expand it out if you need the extra storage space, which we definitely do. <laughs> this is made with bamboo and it's lined with cork. One more thing over here, uh, we're doing a huge renovation in our basement, which we've actually pretty much completely gutted it. And this, these were really good quality. You could actually touch them in the store. They had some display models. $40 for all of the things that we need to hang up all our towels in the bathroom. Altogether, it was $1,833.32. I also bought some underwear, tank tops and some lounge pants, but I already have those in my drawer and they were somewhere around $15 each. So now what we're going to do is take all of this stuff down and get it put in the pantry and I'll give you an update on where our pantry is at when we get down there. All right, here we are. This is my canning pantry and Dan likes to keep everything faced. I've talked about this in previous videos. Um, so he likes everything to be up at the front because he thinks it looks nice, which it definitely does. But as you can see, we have tons of empty space behind almost all of these shelves, which is actually what I wanna see six months into my pantry that we're actually consuming all the food we have here. So we've used about half, which is to be expected. So by November, our pantry will be restocked again with all of the stuff from this coming up canning season. But all the goal by November is to have all of this stuff consumed. The only thing that I've added in here over the winter is some tallow, here so this is rendered beef fat and some lard which is rendered um, pork fat outside of that this is exactly as it was when we did our pantry tour back in november and i'll put a link for that down in the show notes and up here for you if you would like to check that out okay this is our um, store-bought pantry and what we're going to do now is get everything stocked in here and dan is here to give me a hand with this he tends to be the more organized of the two of us and keeps the pantry nice and clean and organized Frank's hot sauce. You can put that up with the. Oh, we've got some back there still. I should start using that stuff. Well, now that we have that nice big wok, can use up that. Um... What? What's that sauce? That sweet chili sauce up there? Make a stir fry with that. We 
we thought it was a really good deal. So I guess we have to start using coconut oil instead of... So we have um, more coconut oil than any one family should have. We have 12 jugs of it. Because the reason that this happened is when we went to buy it, we thought it had a different label underneath it for pricing. So it seemed like it was a phenomenally good deal and well worth buying. And then when we got up to the till, we found out that it wasn't, it was still on sale, but it wasn't as inexpensive. And we just decided, okay, well, we could use some extra coconut oil anyway. But we've actually not been using a lot of coconut oil lately. We used to use it all the time. I wonder why that switched. We just use olive oil now. Mm. I don't think it was really a conscious decision. Use the olive oil. Yeah, so anyway, we need to use up a whole bunch of coconut oil now. Now we have everything stocked back up. It always feels good when the pantry is nice and full again. Nice work. That is it for us today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.